Imagine asking your AI assistant for restaurant recommendations, and it refuses to suggest steakhouses because it has determined based on your health data that you should eat less red meat. You didn't ask for dietary advice, you asked where to eat dinner, but the AI knows better. Welcome to AI paternalism, where algorithms decide what's good for you, whether you ask for their opinion or not. Throughout history, paternalism has taken many forms. Parents restricting children's choices for their own good, governments banning substances or behaviors deemed harmful, doctors withholding information from patients they judge too fragile to handle it. The justification is always the same. Those in power know what's best for those without it. But AI paternalism operates at a scale and subtlety unprecedented in human history. It doesn't announce itself with laws or lectures, but simply adjusts your reality in a subtle way. But companies build systems that confidently impose preferences derived from population-level data, corporate values, or regulatory pressures. Most argue that AI systems should be uncertain about human preferences and defer to human choices. The alignment failure at the meta level. We're building systems that align with what someone thinks we should want rather than what we actually want. We might even get to a place where AI paternalism reaches its apex in social credit systems that can restrict travel, employment, and services based on algorithmic assessments of trustworthiness and where citizens aren't just monitored but actively shaped by systems that reward compliance and punish deviation. We should demand transparency whenever AI systems make paternalistic decisions on our behalf, back regulations that compel disclosure of decision-making criteria and provide real opt-outs, and question the default that AI knows what's best for us, while also recognizing that convenience often comes at the cost of autonomy. This is why artificial intelligence governance matters. Without clear boundaries on paternalistic AI, we risk sleepwalking into a world where freedom means the freedom to choose from options someone else's algorithm approved, to think thoughts that passed content moderation, and to want things that optimize for metrics we never agreed to. This was my attempt to explain AI paternalism in about 100 seconds. If you enjoy the content, feel free to share, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.